football time. And every Saturday afternoon in stadiums all over the country, you'll see young men, like this one, watching the games and enjoying themselves. But four years ago, it was a different story. Four years ago, many of our young men were on Heartbreak Ridge in Korea. And that was no game, but vicious grinding war that went on and on as if forever. Of course, today it's all over, and the young men are trying to forget. But for one day this year, they'll remember. And that one day is Election Day, November 6th, when not only these young men, but Americans of all ages will be thinking long and hard about how to vote for the surest road to peace during the next four years. What are some of their thoughts? I am engaged this time, and I'm planning to get married. And I don't want to look forward to military service in war. I want my children to grow up in a country that's in peace. I think that uh, Ike is a man that can do this for us. I will vote for President Eisenhower because I am the mother of three children, and I feel with President Eisenhower in command of our country, I can raise my children with great security. I'm going to vote for Ike because of his outstanding record in the past four years, and because I believe through the Republican administration, we will have peace and prosperity for my children to grow up for at least the next 20 years. I served four and a half years in the United States Army Air Forces, and I'm a great admirer of President Eisenhower in what he did during the war in leading us to victory and what he is now doing to lead us to peace and to hold the peace of this world. I have an 18-year-old son, and I am so grateful to Eisenhower for giving him an uninterrupted education. So many of the boys, his friends, have, were sent to Korea in a war that um, had no successful conclusion. All over the country, young men and their parents are asking, can we gamble when the stakes are so high? Can we dismiss the man who has kept us at peace and take a chance on a man untried and inexperienced in international negotiations and world problems? Or what do you say? Are you willing to bet everything you love and hold dear that Stevenson can also keep us out of war? Are you that sure of it? Remember, this peace we've grown so used to didn't come to us as a gift. Four years ago, you did something about it. You registered and you voted Ike Eisenhower into office. Now let's keep him there. Ask yourself, is this the time to change with wars simmering all around the world? During the past four years, President Eisenhower has kept this black headline off the front pages of our newspapers because he knows at first hand the terror and misery of war. As he has said, We witness today in the power of nuclear weapons a new and deadly dimension to the ancient horror of war. Humanity has now achieved for the first time in its history the power to end its history. This truth must guide our every deed. It makes world disarmament a necessity of world life. For I repeat again this simple declaration. The only way to win World War III is to prevent it. The National Citizens for Eisenhower Nixon have presented this message to all thinking voters, regardless of party affiliation.